Hey folks, welcome to another video on anatomy. In this video, we'll be discussing about the superior mesenteric artery. Let's begin with the introduction and course of the superior mesenteric artery. The superior mesenteric artery is the anterior branch of the abdominal aorta that arises at the level of the first lumbar vertebral body, approximately a centimeter below the celiac trunk. It arises just above the level of the renal arteries that arise at the vertebral levels L1, L2. The superior mesenteric artery supplies all the structures formed from the midgut, while the inferior mesenteric artery supplies the structures of the hindgut. The superior mesenteric artery passes forwards and downwards and it travels posterior to the neck of the pancreas and the splenic vein and runs anterior to the third part of the duodenum. The branches of superior mesenteric artery. Superior mesenteric artery branches off to give the inferior pancreatic or duodenal artery, the intestinal arteries, the iliac colic artery, the right colic artery, the middle colic artery, and the marginal artery of Draman. The inferior pancreatic or duodenal artery anastomoses with the superior pancreatic or duodenal artery and supplies the head of the pancreas. The intestinal arteries form vascular arcades and vasa rectae and supply the jejunum and the ileum. The ileocolic artery supplies the distal ileum, the cecum, proximal, the ascending colon, and the appendix. The right colic artery supplies the ascending colon. The middle colic artery supplies the proximal two thirds of the transverse colon. The marginal artery of Drummond. The terminal branches of the superior mesenteric artery, which are the middle colic, the right colic, and the iliac colic arteries, and the terminal branches of the inferior mesenteric artery, which is the left colic and sigmoid arteries, anastomose to form the marginal artery that runs along the internal border of the colon. Sir David Drummond was an Irish British physician and the president of the British Medical Association, and he described the artery first. In surgical terms, during bowel surgery, when the major arteries may be clamped off to reduce blood loss, the marginal artery of Drummond is sufficient enough to perfuse the colon. Now let's discuss a little bit about the clinical perks of the superior mesenteric artery. The superior mesenteric artery syndrome is a rare disease that occurs when the duodenum is trapped between the abdominal aorta and the superior mesenteric artery causing compression or complete obstruction. The patient will present with bloating after meals, nausea and vomiting, and a feeling of abdominal fullness. Treatment includes diet modification to treat the underlying cause, which is often rapid weight loss or previous abdominal surgery, and the definitive treatment would be surgical intervention. The Nutcracker Syndrome the nutcracker syndrome results from an elevated left renal vein pressure due to the compression of the renal vein between the superior mesenteric artery and the abdominal aorta. Symptoms include blood in the urine and pain in the abdomen, which is usually left flank pain. Mesenteric ischemia. Chronic mesenteric ischemia can result from atherosclerosis of the mesenteric arteries, whereas on the other hand, Acute mesenteric ischemia commonly results from an embolus that becomes lodged in any of the branches of the mesenteric arteries.